Hey guys, I'm Alif and we are here at the very legendary Monza, you know, the Temple of Speed in an equally legendary car, you know, the Lotus 49, being, uh, driven by Jim Clark. So it's a very, very difficult beast to tame, but it's uh, such a fun car to drive. So this is what we're going to do for round 7 and I hope you guys will enjoy what I'm about to show you now, which is, it's going to be sick. So just, just hear that engine, that sounds good, I know. Let's go. So we are at uh, Parabolica now. We're gonna set the lap up. Uh, it's it's a very tricky car to drive. It has a uh, uh, steel suspension and everything. Steel suspension, steel brakes. Yep, like that. You know, <laughs> can easily just snap. So you're probably used to the normal Monza, but right now we're gonna use the old oval banking. The car has fifth gear, has uh, five gears. Goes up to two nine seven. So yeah, coming out onto the first oval banking, you know, the trick is to just keep it as smooth as possible. To just uh, go down the middle of the, of the track or try to stick down low, which is near the, the yellow line you see. And now you're just keeping it as smooth as possible. You can see how much the, the suspension is working over time for these cars because, I mean, and it's already hitting a rev limiter, so the car can go even faster. And just to note, these cars don't have any sort of wings, you know, no, no front wing, no rear wing, no, no sort of measurable downforce. So it's all about just having a very light car and praying that you have a good, <laughs> you have good skills to tame the car. So yeah, there's a lot of bumps like that, uh, that you have to uh, try to understand. So now you're going down the main street, probably going to have to brake about 250 down to second gear. And then wait before down to going down first because the car kind of snaps when you go down. When you go short shift up a second, oh, that <laughs> can just snap, and you literally can just fly into the barrier like that. Go short shift up fifth, and then you kind of just hug the inside down uh, Curva Grande, and then for the next one you want you want to break before the 200 meter board down to second gear, you can ride the curves as much as you want, not too much, but there is a cut track. And for the next one, you want to just stay in third gear and you could, you probably realize that the braking points are even further because of the steel brakes, so you don't have to brake as, as, as far back as that. And just, yeah, just kind of have a smooth exit out. And then now you can see the old banking that we just went through, so literally we're going under the, uh, the racetrack is pretty cool. And for Ascari, you want to break just before, uh, just before the 200 meter bar. Go down to second, then short shift up to third. And you can kind of drift your way out. And then up to fourth, and then up to fifth. You can just hear the scream of the engine. It's such a cool car to drive, and uh, I can only imagine what what it would have been like for the drivers, you know, in the 1960s, perhaps like Jim Clark. So this one is a bit wide there, but you can kind of get away with it. But this car literally wants to kill you at every turn, so... Yeah, that's the lap. That's the lap of uh, Monza in the old uh, circuit. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, keep your fingers crossed for Team Flash. See you in the next one. Hopefully, we'll have a good result in uh, round 7 of E1.